my name's Dean Bell. I'm the uh, General Manager with Waikato Milking Systems and we're here at the uh, uh, 2010 National Field Days and I uh, thought we'd just show you through some of our new innovations for uh, for 2010 and uh, starting here with a, with a swinging arm. So, so, so brand new for us, uh, hot off the press that's uh, uh, designed to be uh, retrofitted uh, into any uh, herringbone installation. Uh, just makes cluster placement uh, a whole lot easier and, uh, and, and opens up the centre of the pit when, the, uh, when all the clusters are on. Now we've got two types here. Uh, this one here is, is, uh, uh, includes a uh, cup remover uh, as part of the system and if we look a little bit further back and up top here uh, it has a, uh, uh, the ram uh, up top mounted separately. Now that's designed for, uh, for customers who have already got cup removers and we just want to, uh, to retrofit. So uh, both of these examples here, this one includes uh, an auto start function uh, which means that you just grab hold of the cluster and if we lift it, it turns the whole cluster on and, uh, and allows it to put the, uh, the cluster straight on the cow. Uh, I'll just turn this one off. And a little bit further back, we have the version with the ram up top, and uh, all the same, all the same uh, functions. Again, uh, same auto start capabilities, and uh, designed to be retrofitted into an existing installation. And what we'll do is we'll pop around here now and have a look at the new centrist composite deck and, and walk you through that. Okay, this is the, uh, the one of our, our more exciting new developments. Uh, this is the new centrist rotary platform. Uh, we've got a, a, touch, a touch panel here that allows customers to pop through and, and walk through all the features and benefits of that on their own. Uh, the, the, the real breakthrough is, as I guess, you know, back in the early days when rotary platforms were first built, uh, they were originally made out of steel and they tended to be quite echoey when, when they were in operation and, uh, and quite, uh, quite time consuming to build on site. Uh, that really moved to, to concrete, I guess, uh, 10 or 15 years ago. And uh, that's been the, the material of choice for rotary platforms, and we still have one of those over here to our left. Uh, and that's been the material of choice, I guess, for the last number of years. Uh, concrete can be quite a difficult product to work with in the field. You know, a lot of our farms that we're installing to are, uh, you know, they could be an hour away from where the concrete is being mixed, and then by the time we get it placed in, it can be a very, very difficult product to work with. Uh, the new Centris platform is a patented product. Uh, it's made out of uh, a composite material. It's Kevlar, uh, uh, nine layers of laminate. It's about five times the strength of concrete, and uh, and yet it weighs just a fraction of a typical rotary platform. So this here is a section of a um, of a of a 54 bale. So you'll see here we've got six uh, six bales in, in one module, uh, and by the time we put all this together, uh, <coughs> excuse me, it weighs about 22 tons less than the equivalent 54 bale in a, in a concrete. So a significant weight saving. Uh, that's all that is just less weight run, running on the undercarriage underneath uh, and, and also very, very fast for us to install. But the, uh, the real plus is that this is made in a clean room environment, which means that uh, we, can, we can build all this in the factory and we can put it in a container and we can deliver it out to the site and assemble it and, and, the, and the integrity of the product is, is just unmatched. So it's a phenomenal new product and we're expecting that that uh, composite materials are going to become the benchmark of all rotaries in the years to come. And what we'll do is I'll move on through here now to the, to the new ProTrack uh, uh, integrated products. A, uh, a very exciting new product of ours, uh, it's called uh, Detect. Uh, now uh, it's a, uh, it can be used as a standalone product or integrated into livestock improvements ProTrack system here in New Zealand. Uh, what, what it's designed to do is to, uh, is to detect mastitis uh, at the beginning of, of milking every time the, the, the cluster is put on the cow. So it's a, uh, it's a, it's a pulsation system, uh, it includes a, uh, a, a, a sensor and what we do is we activate the cluster, this is in the normal course of putting the, the cups on the cow and it tells the system to begin sensing the milk and what it's doing is it, it'll start, uh, as soon as it detects milk flow, it'll start measuring the conductivity from each of the four quarters individually as soon as it starts flowing. So up here you'll see it's pulsing normally side to side. Now it's just switched into, into testing one quarter. So it's milking through through one quarter at the moment. It'll do a, uh, it'll do a, a connectivity test on that quarter.
quarter and then it'll, it'll switch through to the second quarter. And that, that test is happening up in here. At the end of the, uh, the by the time it's been through its whole sequence uh, of all the four quarters, it's going to compare those four and if the cow is in good health, uh, it'll give us no alarm. It'll just go back to looking like this, which is uh, no alarm at all and, and milking normally. Uh, if we do get an alarm, and I'll just force one here by default, if we do get an alarm, it's, gonna, it's going to uh, uh, give us a very fast uh, signal here uh, that will last until the, uh, the cluster is put on the next cow. So it'll stay there. Uh, and that alarm, well, and I'll show you that in a moment, but when that alarm signals, uh, if it's hooked up with, uh, with ProTrack, which is the, the herd management system that we'll talk about in a few minutes behind, uh, that alarm gets signalled up and puts it, uh, put into the herd management database and uh, the cow gets automatically drafted. So uh, now we're pulsing normally here again. The system's doing its analysis, and if I've run this right, it uh, should give us a very fast alarm here in the next couple of moments. There we go. So that's the alarm that the farmer will see, and that will alert him that the cow has likely got a mastitis problem, and, uh, and if he doesn't have a herd management system, he just gets to address that on his own by marking the cow and treating her, uh, or if it's got a, a, a herd management system that we'll talk about in a moment, uh, that alarm signal will get uh, sent through to the database and the cow will get automatically drafted uh, at the end of milking. So we'll just move over here behind us and have a look at that integration in action. Okay, this is a this is a pretty exciting uh, place to be. So uh, so behind me here is uh, Livestock Improvement's uh, draft gate. So uh, Livestock Improvement, very big organi organisation here in New Zealand, and uh, they manage a, a lot of herd records uh, on farm. And what we've been able to do is take our uh, our smart DTEC product that we just talked about a few moments ago, which is the mastitis product, and uh, and and many farms have uh, this this uh, LIC's ProTrack system installed. And what we've been able to do is take our alarm signals uh, from each cow that has a problem and it appears automatically uh, here on that alarm signal so it'll get sent into, into, uh, into ProTrack. It's via a product called SmartLink and this is our controls here. This antenna uh, fits in the centre of a rotary and uh, these all these signals happen wirelessly when we get an alarm signal get sent into here and then uh, uh, once we draft the cow it'll draft cow automatically. The there we go. So there's a, we get an audible alarm and then the draft gate operates and uh, the cow gets drafted automatically. So it's a very, very exciting, just adds a lot of value to the, uh, to the DTEC product and just takes it another step from being standalone to being fully integrated. And, uh, and finally we'll move across here and have a look at another smart product which is the, uh, the smart spray. Okay, this is the uh, another exciting uh, innovation from Waikato Milking Systems. It's called the new Smart Spray. Uh, it's a product that fits into the whole Smart family. There's a control around the corner here uh, that, that fits on a typical dairy uh, and it allows us to control all sorts of cup remover functions. Uh, but one of those functions is we can control automatic teat spraying uh, at the end of milking. Now, the important part of uh, the, the important reason for teat spraying immediately after cups off is the teat orifice is still is still open uh, and and by doing spraying the cow uh, at the appropriate time it's normally in an area of the shed that's not open to breeze and so the teat spray hits the teats exactly as we want to see it so I'll, I'll simulate it here for you uh, we'll simulate a, a cups off so um, I'll force it to do a cluster remove but normally this happens uh, just straight away automatically at the end of milking is that um, the cluster gets removed off the cow and uh, and then the teat spray operates and puts disinfectant uh, directly onto the bottom of the udder um, and it's a, it's a good effect, effective use of, of teat spray so we can control uh, not only the pressure of the teat spray but we can also control the length of time that the nozzles are open for and we can control that in 0.1 second uh, of, of intervals, so very very small intervals and it means that we can just tune the exact amount of, of, of teat disinfectant to get the best utilisation of, uh, of the teat spray.